Hello and welcome. This presentation is an introduction to the Rubin Observatory's Legacy Survey of Space and Time, the LSST, Prompt Data Products for Time Domain Astronomy. The LSST will be an optical imaging survey of the southern sky starting in a few years. During an observing season, any given patch of sky will be revisited once every three to five days. Millions of transients and variables such as supernovae, AGN, variable stars, and solar system objects will be detected to an approximate limit of 24.5 magnitudes in the R band. This presentation describes the real-time image processing and source detection and characterization that will run every night and the resulting data products that will be promptly available for scientists to analyze. The LSST prompt processing pipeline is based on difference image analysis or DIA. DIA begins immediately after image acquisition when the new image is subtracted from a template image to create a difference image. Template images are created out of previously obtained images combined in such a way as to be transient free. Difference image sources that are detected with a signal to noise ratio greater than five are referred to as DIA sources. All of the DIA sources at a given sky coordinate are referred to as a DIA object. The prompt processing pipeline detects DIA sources and then associates them with DIA objects or creates a new DIA object if there are no previous detections at that sky coordinate. The prompt processing pip pi pipeline then runs measurement and characterization algorithms, the results of which are discussed in following slides. This DIA processing completes within 60 seconds of image readout, at which time one alert packet is generated and released for every DIA source. Within 24 hours, updated versions of the DIA source and DIA object catalogs, along with direct and difference images, are available to scientists via the Rubin Science Platform, the RSP. Alerts, catalogs, and the RSP are all described in the following slides. The prompt processing pipeline generates and releases one alert packet per DIA source within 60 seconds of image readout. The alert packet is essentially an ASCII file containing everything the pipeline was able to measure or characterize about the DIA source. This will include astrometric and photometric parameters such as the size, shape, and flux of the DIA source, as well as its signal to noise ratio and a spurious parameter, which is also referred to as a real bogus parameter. If there are past detections of the DIA source's coordinates and the DIA source is associated with the DIA object, then the alert packet will contain approximately 12 month history of the DIA sources at that location. This will include DIA object characterization parameters such as proper motion, parallax, mean flux, and variability parameters. All alert packets will also contain identifiers for the three nearest stars and galaxies in the Rubin Observatory data release catalogs and an identifier if the DIA source is associated with a known solar system object or SS object. Small, Im small image cutouts referred to as stamps will also be included in the alert packet or made otherwise available within 60 seconds. Alert packets will be distributed via an alert system built on the open source distributed queue system, Apache Kafka, with Apache Avro used as a binary serialization format. If those terms are a mystery to you, do not worry. The bandwidth of the full LSST stream is far too high to be delivered to individual scientists. Alerts will be delivered to a set of community alert brokers. An alert broker is specialized software developed independently of Rubin Observatory to receive, process, characterize, prioritize, and or redistribute alert packets. Scientists will primarily analyze alert packets via the alert broker's user interfaces. For example, scientists can generate filters for the alert stream that identify their DIA sources or DIA objects of interest, such as those exhibiting photometric behavior similar to young supernovae or microlensing events. As a development test, the Rubin Observatory implemented an early version of the alert stream for the Zwicky Transient Facility, and there are several community brokers processing those alerts, such as Antares, Lasser, and the Alerse brokers listed here, all of which have user interfaces and are open to scientists. As previously mentioned, the alert packets are the prompt data product that is released to brokers within 60 seconds of image readout. However, there are additional prompt data products that will be released via the Rubin Science platform within 24 hours. The prompt products database, the PPDB, contains the full DIA source and DIA object catalogs, which have all the same information as in the alert packets with a few additions. Namely, the DIA object catalog will include difference image force photometry at the locations of all DIA objects with detections in the past 12 months. Thus, if you are a scientist monitoring a fading transient or variable, you will be able to query the catalog and obtain force photometry of your object of interest within 24 hours of each new observation. The DIA object catalog will also contain 30-day pre-covery difference image force photometry for all new DIA sources that were not associated with an existing DIA object. 
Thus, if you are a scientist looking for brand new transients with faint precursor outbursts, you will be able to query the catalog and obtain force photometry at the location of a new DIA source in all difference images from the past 30 days. In this same 24 hour window, the process single visit direct images and the difference images will also be available via the Rubin Science platform. Solar system processing is a different process from difference image analysis and will occur in the daytime. Unassociated DIA sources are analyzed to identify tracklets and link observations to identify individual moving objects. Newly identified SS objects will be reported to the Minor Planet Center, the MPC, along with new observations of known SS objects. Updated orbit catalogs generated by the MPC based on data from Rubin and other sky surveys will then be ingested into the prompt products database and the corresponding SS objects and their associations with DIA objects and DIA sources will be updated. Characterization for SS objects will then be recomputed, such as orbital elements and photometric parameters. The results will be available to scientists to query via the Rubin Science platform with an average latency of about 24 hours. At this point, we have mentioned the Rubin Science platform several times. The RSP is a set of integrated web applications and services deployed at the data access centers, the DECs, through which scientists will analyze, um, access, visualize, query, and perform next to the data analysis of the LSST data products. The term next to the data analysis refers to how users will bring their analysis codes and visualization tools to the data and to the computational environment of the Rubin Science platform because the data products are too large to download. The RSP has three main aspects. First, the portal aspect, which will offer exploratory interfaces and visualization tools. Second, the notebook aspect, which will allow users to create Jupyter notebooks in a curated environment. Third, the application programming interface or API aspect will allow remote access to the archive. For example, alert brokers might use an API to automatically query the Rubin Static Sky catalogs to identify potential host galaxies for DIA sources that pass a young supernova filter. The Rubin Science platform is more fully described in a separate talk, as are the LSSD Static Sky catalogs. If you have any further questions about Rubin Observatory, there are a variety of ways to find answers. First, please come back to the VRC Rubin Observatory booth in the exhibit hall of the 2021 Winter AAS meeting, where we would be happy to answer your questions. Second, please feel welcome to visit our online community forum at community.lsst.org. This is the best place to seek answers for questions about the LSST data products, science pipelines, and alerts and brokers. The contents of our forum are publicly available to search and read, and anyone may obtain an account in order to post questions or participate in the discussions. Third, if you're interested in getting involved in preparing for science with the Rubin Observatory, you might like to join one of the eight LSST science collaborations. The science collaborations are independent, worldwide communities of scientists, self-organized into collaborations based on research interests and expertise. They are laying the groundwork necessary to prepare for doing science with the LSSD data products and services and are open and welcoming to all, especially to students. Joining the science collaborations is a great way to learn about Rubin Observatory. Fourthly, for more information about alert brokers and time domain astronomy, uh, visit www.lsst.org backslash scientists backslash alert brokers. Goodbye and thanks for watching.